We first told you last night about a second arrest made in connection to the weapons stolen from a Worcester Army Reserve Center. Tonight, we're learning more about the clues investigators followed to make the arrest and to recover one of the missing guns. Our Olivia Lemon joins us now with the details. Olivia. Tim Ashley Bigsby of Dorchester was arrested late Friday afternoon. Investigators say the 26 year old was arrested on an outstanding state warrant. When she was arrested, agents were able to recover her cell phone, which had pictures of some of the missing weapons from the armory. These pictures of two stolen guns led investigators to a suspect. The U.S. Attorney's Office says Ashley Bigsby was arrested Friday in Dorchester. She is charged with illegally possessing a machine gun and making false statements. Federal investigators say a search warrant was issued for this Page Street home in Dorchester where Bigsby lives. It seems they are doing their work then. And yeah, it's a bit safer now if, you know, they have getting into it better than not doing anything at all. Bigsby's arrest led to the recovery of the last missing M4 assault rifle. It has some people around Worcester feeling more safe, but still wondering how many more people may be involved in the theft. We need to feel safe out here. I mean, those weapons out there, God only knows what could happen and how many lives could be lost. 34 year old James Morales was arrested last month in connection to the theft of 16 weapons from the Lincoln Stoddard Army Reserve Center. The FBI said six pistols are still missing. They're offering a $15,000 reward for information to help them recover the remaining guns. I hope for all of our sakes that they're recovered soon and that no one is harmed before they're recovered. Six weapons on the street. I know it's a bit unsafe, but I know the FBI, once the FBI have joined this situation, it's going to get better, you know, to recover whatever that is on the streets now. Now, Bigsby appeared in U.S. District Court Monday in Worcester. She will remain in U.S. Marshal, Marshal custody until her detention hearing, which is scheduled for December 3rd. As for Morales, he also remains in U.S. Marshal custody. Tim, back to you. Thanks for that.